Through symbolism and foreshadowing, this documentary depicts the unique struggles of being a woman in the early 1900s, as well as the dangerous effects that this sexist mistreatment can often lead to. In the video, viewers will see that women were forced to contain their personalities and to act civilized and courteous in order to attract a suitor as well as to be a good housewife. What women could and could not do was confined to what was proper for women at the time to be participating in. John, I want a bird. A bird? Why? Because it makes me happy. I don't care if you're happy. Keep cooking. I'm sorry. You were right. Finally, a woman who respects me. You need to know your place around here. To Susan Glassbell's play Trifles, we chose to emphasize the sexist relationship between Mr. and Mrs. Wright. Mr. Wright's expectations of Mrs. Wright being able to uphold certain socially acceptable behaviors of that time included making dinner, keeping the house tidy, and never disagreeing with her husband. Mr. Wright's discriminatory acts may seem small, however, when we take Susan Glassbell's play into account, readers are able to observe as the resentment of Mrs. Wright builds up until it becomes dangerous. These concepts reveal the true motives of Mrs. Wright's murder and are able to foreshadow how Mr. Wright will be killed without fully giving it away. I can't keep living like this. I'm going upstairs to rest. I expect dinner to be ready when I return. So this is some of the symbolism that was in Trinkets. At the very beginning of Trifles, the characters walk into the right house where they see their kitchen in shambles, the reason of which is unknown. Because the play takes place in 1916, it can be inferred that Mrs. Wright was subject to taking care of her husband in their home, which meant a lot of cooking and cleaning. The kitchen being torn apart by who we later find out is Mrs. Wright is symbolic of her rebelling against her gen gender roles during this time period. Another symbol that is carried through the plot is John Wright's cause of death, strangulation. While it seems insignificant at first, later in the story, the significance is revealed when Mrs. Peters and Mrs. Hale find Mrs. Wright's bird hidden in a box in her sewing basket with its neck wrung. The two women go on to discuss how much Mrs. Wright had loved the bird and how Mrs. Mr. Wright was always trying to keep it quiet, same as Mrs. Wright. Mrs. Hale tells Mr. Peters how Mrs. Wright used to like to sing until Mr. Wright made her stop. The two women come to the conclusion that Mr. Wright killed the bird, and Mrs. Wright, who was tired of being silenced and disrespected as a partner, killed Mr. Wright in the same way he killed her bird. I'm going upstairs to rest. I expect dinner to be ready when I return. <laughs> <laughs> John, I'm John, I want a bird. No! There are two... <laughs> 